deep fried, high fat, high calorie, and high sodium foods. Did somebody say McDonald's? The answer to this question is yes. Most people could not ask for more, which is why, according to CBS News, every day about one quarter of American adults eat at fast food restaurants. The food is fast, easy, and cheap, so people often use it as a quick and easy fix. This makes McDonald's a very popular franchise, but overall, McDonald's is not good. McDonald's is bad because of its poor nutrition, its negative effects on the environment, its child-rearing advertising schemes, and its cruelty to animals, to name a few. Everyone loves McDonald's because of its delicious food, but what makes it taste so good? The burgers, fries, and even dressings are loaded with salts and fats, which give the food a taste that people crave. These salts and fats are known to clog arteries and lean to obesity and heart failure. In a society that lacks physical activity because of its because of television and computers, people don't need to be eating food that's going to cause great detriments to their health when they're already at high risk for serious health problems. Trash and overcrowded dumps are a huge problem in the world today because of their harmful effects to the environment. According to McSpotlight, McDonald's annually produces over 1 million tons of packaging used for just a few minutes before being discarded. This waste goes to a landfill where it can stay for many years. We face problems with global warming and a thinning ozone layer, which will soon be the end to the world as we know it. Any unnecessary waste should not be used by anyone. Using collectible toys, television advertisements, promotional schemes in schools, and figures such as Ronald McDonald, the company bombards their main target route, children, says McSpotlight. The problem with targeting young children with their advertising is that children have very susceptible minds and because they can whine and cry to their parents, they get what they want. Little do they understand that a Happy Meal with a hamburger, french fries, and a kid's Coke contains over 600 calories, 22 grams of fat, 4 grams of trans fat, and 665 million milligrams of sodium. This is way more than any child should eat in one sitting. With childhood obesity on the rise, children need to be restricted from these types of meals. McDonald's has a great effect on animals because of its harmful ways of producing lots of meat and poultry, and most people know little about it. According to McSpotlight, as the largest user of beef, they're responsible for the slaughter of hundreds of thousands of cows per year. In fact, in 2005, 32.5 million cattle were slaughtered to provide beef for U.S. consumers. The inhumane practices of slaughtering animals also affects people because it can cause bacteria, E. coli, to get into food by having so many dead carcasses of cattle flying around the factories and dripping onto the meat. As said by Jeffrey Zertelin, the typical frozen hamburger that is used in fast food restaurants contains meat from dozens of hundreds of cattle, multiplying the risk of food poisoning. This is so disgusting and so many people are unaware that this is what they're putting into their bodies. In addition, the workers in the meat packing factories are at high risk for in injury and are mostly illegal immigrants. They also have to work very fast and for long periods of time, and to keep up their pace, the plant workers often abuse methamphetamines. So although McDonald's may love to see you smile, is it worth the frowns of its workers? McDonald's does, however, donate lots of money to charities everywhere. McDonald's extends their reach by awarding millions of dollars to organizations who focus on providing access to health care, says Ronald McDonald House. Every year, McDonald's don donates millions of dollars to lots of charities. There's nothing wrong with this at all, but the money that this is coming from is from the deaths of thousands of millions of thousands of innocent animals and underpaid, overworked immigrants. In addition, McDonald's is a billion dollar business that could afford to donate a lot more money than it does. McDonald's has come up with healthy options that are targeted toward women. Many of the menu includes fruits, fruit cups, and salads. There's nothing wrong with trying to make the menu healthier, but not so many people come to McDonald's for salads and fruit. And additionally, when people buy the salads, they use dressings that contain so much fat and calories. For instance, the ranch dressing is packed with 190 calories and 15 grams of fat per serving, and the packet that it comes in contains two servings. This makes the salads a not-so-healthy alternative. Besides having to wait in line right after order goes in for a meal, it takes only minutes to receive it. McDonald's has a quick, reliable service that everyone loves. Why is it so fast? The food is already prepared far, far ahead of time frozen, and then it's dumped into a big vat of grease and served hot and fresh in just moments to its customers. 
In addition, because the food is so fast and so many come to eat it, there's a need for a lot of poultry and meat. Chickens can, and cows can only naturally be raised for raised on years of time. In order to speed up the process of these, the growth process of these animals, artificial hormones or recumbent bovine growth hormone are injected into the animals. Besides the harmful side effects animals face, these hormones can disrupt human hormone balance, causing developmental problems, interfering, interfering with the reproductive system and leading to the development of breast, prostate, or colon cancer, according to the sustainable table. Since so, many pe since so many animals are produced and only so many animals can fit in a small place, the tails are cut off of cows and the cows are held in tight places only inches away from each other. Is it worth the wait to save it is worth the wait to save so many innocent animals and protect protect the lives of people in our community. Another reason McDonald's is so popular is because it's so cheap. Who doesn't want to eat an entire meal for under five dollars? Unfortunately, there are too many people. Most don't think twice about why it's so cheap. The reason the food is so low price is the same reason because of why it's so fast. Because animals are able to be reproduced and raised so quickly, McDonald's is able to sell their food for nearly nothing. However, few pe people realize that most of the 4,000 million chickens reared each year in the United States for their meat are kept in severely overcrowded sheds and pushed to grow so quickly that many suffer from painful leg disorders and others die of heart failure. And it's sad to think that the lives of these animals are worth a 10-piece chicken McNugget. McDonald's tastes good. It's family-friendly. It carries healthy options. It's chip, cheap, and it has quick, reliable service. These are all components of a great restaurant. But is it worth the lives of animals and people where it's harm done to the environment? The answer to this question should be a simple no. McDonald's is not a great place and people should not be loving it. However, as long as we have America and its many people on the go, we will have this fast food and all of its negative aspects that go along with it.